Hello and welcome back to the next episode in the War for X Quickfire tutorial series. In this episode I'm going to be going over specifically everything to do with the galactic map, how it works, uh, any further information uh, you might need, um, and ways that you can use it to your advantage. So, the galactic map is how you see the galaxy, it's how you see the systems that you've discovered and how you explore the universe. Um, you click it from here, and you'll be able to enter the galactic map. If you have no systems discovered, you'll just see your home system or soul, uh, depending on if you started as a human on Earth or not. And um, there's various things that can be very useful for. Um, now, don't all this stuff, all these labels, all these things here, they are created by me. These are most of these are toggles, and I'm going to be going through each thing individually. So first thing is that up here you can refresh Galaxy Map if you want to refresh for a new system. You can turn uh, save current system information. You can turn Space Master on. You can turn Auto Turns on, and then all these things do their, um, yeah, do what they should be doing anyway. Um, and you can also advance time accordingly. So. That's the basics over there. You can change between your uh, race or nation, uh, whatever you want over here. And um, then you have uh, the, the kind of toolbar you would have in the normal tactical map view, uh, which is the uh, normal game screen. Have you when you're looking at Earth and stuff? That's the tactical map. Um, and then you have various other things. So I'm going to go down each option and explain what each option means and is. These are all toggles that will uh, apply to the systems on the map. So, what do they do? On Explore Jump Points, as you can see, that with that being created there, they mark which uh, systems have unexplored jump points in them. Jump Point Survey Status uh, marks what systems have uh, jump points uh, or survey locations still remaining that need to be surveyed. Surveyed system status shows what systems have currently been surveyed at what percentage of bodies in that system have been surveyed. Survey location point indicates how many points there are in terms of survey locations and how left uh, in or in total in the body that have been searched. Um, and then we have warship locations, which shows all warships. There we go. So ships with weapons, all fleet locations. So it will show you every single fleet location. So and you can this will be based on your ship icon in your race details. Populated systems, which will be displayed by the uh, light blue screen here, which will show populated systems, or uh, the yeah, the circle, the light um, blue circle, and that will show which systems are populated by your race. Sectors, once you have sectors, it will show your sectors on the map. Shipyard complexes, it will show which uh, systems have shipyards. Naval headquarters, it will use the yellow marking to show which systems have naval headquarters. Maintenance locations, it will use the, uh, the blue dotted uh, lining marking uh, to show which have maintenance locations. Ground survey locations, it will show them on the map with grey. Alien controlled systems. Uh, you have to mark this on your own. I'll get to this in a little bit, but this will show the in control systems. Highlight contact systems, etc., where you find contact. How it's all range. Uh, these will basically just show you uh, worlds that have been are in habitable range. Um, so, as you can see, it'll show them over here. Then and it all goes down. All of these in different locations. Number of comets uh, in planetless systems, and that will show that. Security status. Uh, that's to do with diplomacy and the status of the system and what you've set its system uh, modifier to. So like, either tell aliens to leave, tell uh, civilians to leave, that kind of thing. Possible dormant jump points. Uh, this is to do with if there, if you've discovered that there could be possible dormant jump points in a system. Blocked auto route systems, so this means that there are systems that are blocked by auto routes um, that ships can't get to. 
Military restrictor system, systems where you've restricted them militarily so civilians can't go through them. Mineral search flag, so this is where you've flagged the system for certain mineral search types. Distance from selected star system, so if I click on solar, it will show the distance, 3.7 light years. And then discovery date, which will show the discovery date of the system. You can also see total systems and survey systems up here. Then you have overview. Uh, this will show you the control race. It'll be able to change your sector, your theme. Um, it will show you ideal habitable worlds um, on whichever planet you're looking at here. So, yeah. And it will show where the jump points are in the system, um, total bodies, and all of that good stuff. Uh, then you have survey sites, which will show you all your survey sites. Miscellaneous, which will allow you to uh, mineral search flag certain systems. For mineral search, uh, allow you to put protection status in, so suggest lead the manly wood threat, etc. Uh, it will allow you to block fleet movement route or route there, so they will not auto route through that system, and uh, you can military restrict the system accordingly. Then we have naval forces, which will show all your naval forces in that system accordingly. And you can award medals from this, and you can also include civilians if you want to, and current system only. You can see all your uh, ships across the entire uh, galaxy. Then you have contacts. You can designate uh, friendly contacts, all that stuff, and you can also display base contacts, uh, current system only, all that stuff. Map labels. So this is how map labels work. So these things, why you see these things. So type, let's type in whatever, let's type in the um, alpha expanse, okay? Then you click new label, okay? You will first click new label, then you type in your word, so alpha expanse. Then you click update text. Then if you want to change the font, you can come over here and you can change it. You change its color, change the font size, change what font it is, etc. Then you can delete label or you can copy label and that will create multiples of the label. And you just drag and drop it wherever. Unlike the older um, uh, Aurora 4X uh, VB6 Galaxy Map, you don't have to auto save. You don't have to save this because it will save automatically using um, your normal save. Um, and you can, yeah, this is how labels work. Pretty neat. Um, and you can drag them around, call them differently, you can um, name constellations, you can name expanses, you can name um, fleet movement, inner colony priorities, uh, arms of the galaxy, you can name uh, where enemies are, contacts, stuff like that. Um, so another thing that you can do uh, is um, in terms of, uh, where is it? Um, it's somewhere here. So yeah, you'll find races and alien races, obviously, and you will designate which uh, parties control them, and then that'll be marked with their flag, and then you'll be able to appropriately tell them, tell your like server ship not to go there. You'll be able to see where they are on the map, and it allows you to plan much more effectively. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's the galaxy map. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'll see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe to so about 20% of people do subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, you have a great one. Stay safe.